Goal. Long nose gar. We're gonna get some minnows. We're gonna get some little bait guys. We're gonna drive to the east side of Orlando and catch a long nose. We made it here, we got the minnows. Taylor thinks he can go get it. You're going dirty them boots. Just a simple float rig with a little treble hook and a minnow on the treble hook, hook behind the dorsal fin. Little weighted cigar foot. All right, I'm gonna go do some micro investigating. Hit it again. I'm trying to catch something. <laughs> I didn't want to keep a bluegill because I was trying to use live bait. Unless it was tiny. I'll keep the next bluegill I catch though. Whoa, whoa, it's been a minute. See that? If I want to release this guy, I got to do it now. He might not, he might not make it. We'll see, he might be all right. Species number one for the camera is gold and silver side. Look at so pretty over here. Stop it, stop it. No, I needed you. Eee! Yeah, a little shell cracker. All right. Bait. Blue Gale. All right, I'm gonna go put the. That's all the bait you need right there. Hehe. <laughs> I guess I had something on my line for a while. I didn't really think it was, but yeah, it was. Hey. Well, I got him. <laughs> All right, guys. First car of the day. Hooked him right there. I'm gonna have to get this out. Give me a second. He's a little baby. Look at that little cute guy. Just a Florida gar. Tell you him in the sun. Look at that. A little Florida gar on cut bait. Hee <laughs> hee. Get this trouble out of his mouth. I think I may have got some headway there. Ah, oh, got it. All right, got it. Here go, here go. I got it. I got it from here. Thanks, brother. I don't think I believe you. One majorly dirty Florida gar here. Yeah, there he goes. Well, that was minorly successful. A guard hooked properly is a good guard. Oh, too far out. There's mine. Okay, right here. That's a fish. It's a better fish. It's in Florida. It's a better fish. Still a Florida guard though. 
we have a problem here guys we're just catching dinky fortigars that's not what I want all right little fortigar yeah. all right let's get some long nose there it is it's a gar it's a big gar too He's off. Florida. Check that out. Oh yes, that's how you want to do it. Ah. Ooh. Oh my god. They know we're here. I can't even walk away from this, but I gotta get us more bait. You know what? I'm gonna do it right here. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna get us some more bait right here. Not gonna waste any time. Not gonna walk over there. Alright guys. A lot of Florida gar. I'm switching to, we're trying to do life bait. Got a lot of stuff going on. We're gar after gar, trying to get this long nose. We're trying to weed out the Florida. So I'm going to throw like a four inch bluegill. Doing good, doing good. What is that? Silver side, look at that dude. Look at that bro, yeah. Dude, put it on. Put it on, here hold this. Dude, that's, this is probably not a good idea to be honest. Put this silver side on. I, I just don't see him surviving, man. For I don't even see him casting. I don't. I just feel like it's not a good bait. Yo, what? Yo, what? dude. That's not a silver side. That's a coastal shiner. You don't have that species. What? I didn't catch it. I know, but Wait, but dude, we can get on him right here. That's perfect. Okay, species number four of the day, guys. Cool, guys. Species number. Jeez. Oh, oh my jeez. Oh. Okay guys, this is too perfect. I just caught species number four, it's a coastal shiner. We gotta get you on your first coastal shiner, bro. Damn, pulling. Little bluegill. Imagine if gar were as easy to hook as other fish. <laughs> How easy they would be to catch. That's a fish. I don't know what type of fish. Oh, what the hell? Nice fight. Yeah. It's no problem, buddy. Let's see how I hooked him. Yo, that's so cool, dude. Oh, you're strong. I get it. They're really trying to flex on you, bro. Lord knows I don't want to be. All right, guys. Throw him away. All right, bye. I hate this spot for releasing fish. There he goes. Have fun. Why, is the chalk in them not cool anymore? Yeah, dude, I'm not a fan. Oh, what are these people doing here? Oh, that's them. What up, folks? Whoa, here. What's up? How's it going? Doing well, how are you? Can I take a day? A lot of fish. Dude, I'm on like four species. No, I caught four different species so far. Yeah. Um, bluegill, Fortigar, Coastal Shiner, and Gold and Silver Side. Catch some. We're just been catching a bunch that, of Florida guys. Can I take some bait? Yeah, please. Before we catch them, we... let me see. I feel good. There we go. Look That's at that perfect. baby little bluegill. That's a dogger. I can't. I can't use him. Yeah. Guys, this species number five of the day for me. It's a dogger sunfish right there. You can tell because of the beautiful little colors. But I don't like using dog as bait, so. Can you take this one more? Yeah, you can take that. <laughs> so I'm gonna give him a release right here. They're too beautiful. Can't use you as bait. There you go. Another Pretty dogger? Good. Dude, nice. Take a guys, little dog sunfish. They're so pretty, I love them. Hi, right, pretty guy. We don't wanna use you as bait, and we don't wanna catch you either, so go Let's away. Tell your ugly cousin. All right, I got I got something going on. Oh, dude, he's just taking it. Big fish on. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Guys, I got another fish on. That's a 
this. There he is, 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 there he is. All right, here, let's do this quickly. My phone's over there. Grab your phone, grab your phone. Ooh, that's a great one. Got it out. Yeah, All right, man. you got to release some for him to be a lifer. Boom. Boom, we're life. Dude, you're out there. I'm giving it to him. Head shakes off. No, no. Ah. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude, you gotta be joking. He's mowing. He's just mowing. There's no hook. Oh, light off for me? Right, I just want to see if I can get a good shot of that with a little light. Cause Perfect hook set, dude. Oh, yeah. What are you doing with all that mud in that thing? Look, you gotta go like this. Just the mud there banging on a tree. Really? Yeah. That's some rigorous mud. Oh God. <laughs> What's his name? Caught a dang long nose while they were trying to catch a catfish. Uh, we're tired, I'm gonna go home. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, it's a couple days later after the long nose session. Basically, if you've ever fished for gar, you know they're really hard to hook up with. The hookup ratio, it's so hard to figure out. So we were basically just trying a bunch of different hook styles and hook setting techniques, different drags. When I hooked that one gar, when I was really excited about how it was hooked up, like the third one I think I landed, I was using a tiny J hook and I just set it like a circle hook, which is a piece of advice my buddy Alex gave me, who's a really, really great fisherman, one of the best in the world if you ask me. I was really stoked there that it worked then, but it didn't work on some of the long nose when I was using the bigger live bluegill. We tried treble hooks, octopus hooks, little J hooks, and I've done all of this a lot before. It's really hard to figure out how to hook gar. You have a really bony mouth. They play with the bait. They don't swallow it right away. So when they bite, you gotta give them like sometimes minutes before you can even hook them in the mouth at all. It's just a crap shoot. When you're fishing for gar, it's just a crap shoot. Anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed my session of me and Taylor fishing for long nose. I'm going to continue this series until I get long nose, of course, like what I did with my catfish, tilapia, all those other ones. We're going to keep going until we catch a long nose. Oh, I didn't get this on film, but I actually hooked up with a giant fish that pulled drag out of my locked reel. I looked at my reel's drag and it, it's 28 pounds, so I had, some, I had a wall of a gar on it at one point, but I lost that fish. And then my buddy Zane's dad hooks up with a long nose while they were bottom fishing for catfish. But either way it goes, that was a really fun session, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, it's been a fish signing out here, guys. I'll catch you later.